ring just a moment from this ago. We probably been working on that, going up to that. How would I have for Eddie Gilmore, the first time on the 50 yard line? I think it's time to hear some And uh, also, I hope you got to enjoy the uh, that beautiful work on the auxiliary between the Spurlers and the Spurlers uh, on that. Chris Gerard and Chris Yacht coming up again. And there's Chris Gerard right there in the white cap, and Chris Yacht right there going to the front. So, today is band day. How about a hand for all the high school bands that participated? <laughs> so by the numbers, there were at halftime almost 3,500 people on the field. 67 high school bands participated today. So if you were in the audience, if you were a participant, a high school band member that participated today, or a director, stand and please recognize all our band name participants. <laughs> so let's, let's do something here. Hey, uh, current band, raise your hand if you came to band day when you were in high school. And now they're there. So we expect to be you to be out on this field down the road. We want you out here. All right, a couple of things before we close up. A couple of announcements I need to make. Um, if you're in the New Hampshire area and you just want more band, tomorrow is the third annual New England Collegiate Marching Band Festival. We won't be there, but it's still going on. 1 p.m. at the University of New Hampshire. Tickets are only $5 a person. They can be purchased at the door. We have college bands across the Northeast and a leadership bridge for high school students. So feel free if you're in the Durham, New Hampshire area to check that out. All right, uh, one other piece of uh, business to talk about. You might like those uniforms out there. Pretty nice, right? Yeah, they're also about 15 years old. The average lifespan of a band uniform is, fit, is seven years and we're pushing 16. If you're looking to uh, We've got a fundraising campaign going on to buy new uniforms. We're about 22% there. Uh, if you get $500, you can get your own uniform with one of these. And so, yeah. But hey, here's what we're doing over the next two weeks. Anyone that makes a donation online between now and Monday, October 26th, when you put in your special instructions, you can put down one section, and I will march in that section on the last football game of the year, October 29th. So you can put down trombone, I'll put on a uniform, march trombone, and have You can put down color guard and I'll learn how to toss a flag, I guess. So, so there you go. I'm really pulling for tuba because that was my instrument. But again, if you want to contribute to our uniform fund, you can go online right now. Any amount counts. But if you want to put it for a section over the next couple weeks. Our goal is by 2018, but who knows? If we can get closer to next year being in these brand new uniforms, I sure would have put it. Hey, it's been a wonderful day today. Two more people I got to meet before we do get done. And those are the Band-Aid coordinators. Where are they at? Sarah Carroll and Ian, this, Ian Archibald, come forward. Ian Archibald right there. And where's Sarah? And right over there, Sarah Carroll from the clarinet section. Those are our Band-Aid coordinators. All right, the Minuteman Marching Band will be back in action on Sunday. Not tomorrow, a week from tomorrow. The MICA Finals, which after some uh, confusion, will be at Plymouth North High School next Sunday. We don't know what time will be going on, but we'll post that on our social media. Of course, we'll be on the MICA website. But that, and of course, parents, that is the old burger burn next Sunday. And all that, so we hope to see you at MICA. Otherwise, Senior Day, last football game, October 29th. Hope to see you there. How about a hand for all everyone that participated in Band Day 2016? The only way we know how. This is the Minuteman Marching Band under the direction of Thomas B. Hannum. This is my way. Thank you and good night.